Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How hey. are you doing today? Good. Thank you. you. Very good. Very good. Are you ready for your class? Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right, guys, so today we have to start on the next section, which is going to be coming from section number five. Uh, on section number five, we are going to be looking at the topic is going to and will to convert statements to the future tense. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at using going to and will. I would like for us to watch a short video. I think it's like three minute video uh, in regards to this topic. And we're gonna go ahead and then after that discuss the topic. No se escucha. Oh, sorry about that. Let me see. Bien. Can you hear now? Can you hear now? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. All right. Let's look at this section right here. Use be going to verb uh, in the simple present for plans you've decided on. Okay. Uh, who can tell me what is the difference between using going to and using will? What is the difference? Yes, la diferencia in, yes, Maria. Uh, with use going to, uh, for plans, the plans that we already decided and That's will correct. for plans that we have not decided. We decided yeah. just at the moment. That is correct. That is correct. 
So we use going to plus base form of the verb to express future actions that you have plans, right? That is not going to change. It's not like, for example, let's say right now, uh, your friend says, um, hey, what are, you, what are you going to do on the weekend? And your friend says, um, I don't know, uh, maybe I'll go to the movies or to the beach, right? Not decided, don't know yet, it's not decided. So we say will, going to is more, you have made that decision and you're not going to change it. Do you understand? Right, so el going to eh, es para planes concretos, planes que tú no vas a cambiar, planes que ya, eh, digamos, hiciste una reservación, eh, eh, ya hiciste planes eh, financieros, por si tienes que llevar dinero, eh, ya, y, ya pediste una reservación en un hotel o algún evento en algún restaurante. So in that case, we're going to use going to. Uh, will is like, for example, uh, te preguntan, hey, ¿qué quieres comer? Uh, I don't know, pupusas, hamburger, pizza, right? You haven't decided. So you use will. So el will is como cosas a futuro que no están concretas. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Does everybody understand? Yes. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Digamos que te dicen, eh, ¿qué quieres hacer este fin de semana? What do you say? What do you say? What are you going to do next weekend? Saul, ¿vas a usar el will or el going to? Me? Uh, yes, Saul, or Maria, or whoever wants to participate. Uh, or if Adrian. I decide something, uh -huh. like, like if I decide something, if I have something already uh, planned, mm -hmm. I have to say I'm going to. And if I don't decide it already, mm -hmm. I got to say I will. That's right. I, I will do something. That's right. That's right. If, for yeah. example, let's say that you have to work. Are you going to say I will work or I am going to work? Uh, I will. <laughs> mm, uh, yes, Ruth. Uh, no, no yeah. sir, sir, I, have, I don't work. I don't work. Teacher, este, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, pero es válido mm -hmm. eh, decir I'm going to uh, eat at the beach or oh, oh. I will. Yes, sí. yes. I see I will um, eat at the beach. Uh, it depends, it depends. Uh, si va a decir, I am going to eat at the beach, uh, quiere decir que usted ya hizo planes. Okay. Pero digamos que el sábado en la mañana le llama a su amiga y le dice, hey, ¿qué, qué nos hacemos? Ah, y usted dice, ah, podemos ir a la playa, al volcán, a un lago. Usted va a decir, ah, maybe uh, we will go to the beach or we will go to the lake or we will go to the mountain because it's okay. not decided, it's not planned. Pero digamos que desde el viernes le llamaron y le dijeron, hey, eh, let's plan something for Saturday. Ah, okay. Eh, what do you want to do? Well, you know, there's a, a new place in Surf City. I want to visit that place. Ah, okay. Eh, what time do we go? Let's go for lunch. 12 o'clock. Excellent. Uh, who is going to go? Uh, me, my brother, my sister, and a friend. Okay. Who's going to drive? 
Oh, my friend has a car. Excellent. Ok, allí ya discutimos quién va a ir, a dónde vamos a ir, a qué horas nos vamos a ir, quién va a conducir. Right? Allí ya es algo planificado. So, allí vamos a decir, I am going to go. Ah, uh, ok. Eat at the beach. Pero si no es planificado, usted dice, ah, maybe I will go to the beach or maybe I will go to the mountain. Right? Because it's not decided. It's a possibility. Ah, ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, gracias. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for your question. Another question, guys. Another yes, question. Teacher. Yes, yes, Herbert. Yes, 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 yes teacher. Okay, what Herbert, happens is, después is, Saul. I say, yeah, I say, uh, maybe uh, I would to go something place, for no, example. No, no, no. I would, would. No, I would, no. I would is, uh, es como que si usted hablando de algo como hipotético, like mm. something hypothetical, right? Mm. Digamos que alguien le dice, eh, hey, ya probaste el consumé de garrobo en el sopón. Hey, have mm -hmm. you tried eh, iguana stew at el sopón? Y usted me dice, no, pero lo haría. No, mm. but I would. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá. Ahí es algo hipotético. Pero si yo mm -hmm. le digo, hey, planifiquemos una salida para el sopón. Eh, a comer eh, iguana soup. Ahí ya sería. Maybe I will. Ajá, no, ahí ya sería planificado. Ya ah, hicimos planificado. hora, ya dijimos a qué hora vamos a ir, ah, okay. yes. quiénes van a ir. Ahí vamos a decir: I am going to go mm -hmm. to El Sopón to eat. Or we are going. Or we are going to go to eat. To El Sopón, to eat Iguana Soup. ¿Por qué? Porque ya planificamos. Ok. Pero digamos que no está decidido. Usted dice, ah, maybe. Maybe, maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will go to El Sopón. Maybe I will go to uh, Punto Marino. Maybe I will go to Mama Chus. Right? You don't know. It's not decided. Ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Herbert, for the question. Y el next question, Saul. Yeah, teacher. My question is, if we mention at the, the first word, when we decide something, maybe we, we can use probably or... Yes, oh. yes. You can say maybe, you can say probably, you can say possibly. Possibly. You can say okay. I might. Okay. Maybe I will. Possibly I will. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes, se pueden usar los modals de probability. Eso se llaman modals of probability. Modals of possibility, right? Que expresan una probabilidad. Another question. Okay. Another question. Question, question, question. Somebody. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish watching the video. I'm going to go to France. Can everybody hear? Some... Can everybody hear? Um, you're... Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. 
Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, that's what I want to express. Um, and so, in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably. OK. Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? Okay, so todos estos son possibilities. Whether the seed, I guess. Uh, I may, maybe, I think, I probably, I imagine, uh, I believe. Todas esas son uh, expresiones que puede usar. Puede decir, I believe, I be I believe, uh, I imagine, uh, I guess, maybe, I think, I probably, uh, I possibly, I possibly, uh, I might, I, I, todas estas, expressan possibilities. And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, OK? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch 
the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle. Okay, I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expression towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use I'm going to go to Europe. All right. That could be um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game but however with this one you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle I probably will watch the football game the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class so you may use this Okay, listen and repeat. How are you going to spend your next vacation? How, How are you going are you to going spend, spend your next, your next vacation? vacation? Where are you going to go? Where, Where are, you are, you are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? When, when are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? How long, How long are you going to be on vacation? Okay, let me have one volunteer, un voluntario que me quiera hacer a mí la pregunta. One volunteer. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Um, las puse en la pantalla, no. Eh, ahorita se las estoy mandando okay. al WhatsApp y se fueron. Y se fue. Okay, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Uh, honestly, I haven't decided. I haven't even, I don't even know when is the next vacation. Uh, maybe I will go to the beach. I like to visit uh, El Tunco. Uh, <laughs> La Disco in El Tunco. I like that at night. Uh, or I, I might go to Lago Cuatepec uh, to swim and rent the jet skis. Uh, okay. Or maybe I go to El Boquerón. I like to go camping in the cabin uh, in El Boquerón. I enjoy that. Okay. Uh the um, El Espino, the ah. beach, El Espino is beautiful. 
Yes, El Espino Beach is in Osulutan, right? It's in, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like that beach as well. It's a nice beach. Okay. okay. All right, uh, so. Where are you going to go? Uh, well, I think that I'm, I'm thinking about going to um, the Boqueron place uh, here. Uh, I like to stay in the cabin and do like barbecue, you know, cook in the open spaces. And also I like to uh, put a hammock and sit in the hammock and just listen to the birds listen to the, the sound of the forest. At night, it's a little scary, uh, but <laughs> I, I like scary. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, um, where are you going to take your next vacation? Uh, I think that I'm going to, really, I don't know when is the next vacation. I know that July, August, I think August has a vacation. The August vacation is the festival. First, first weekend. The, uh -huh, the first weekend. So maybe around that time. Uh, maybe. Not sure. Okay. Um, how long are you going to be on vacation? Uh, me personally, like two days at the most. You know, two days. That's, that's good enough for me. Okay. Um. No. Not is the first at um uh, seventh August. I think so. From the first to the seventh, I think so. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Thank All you. right. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, I want to share uh, more questions with you guys on the WhatsApp group. Did you guys receive? The questions? Yes. Okay. Let yes. me give you let me give you some more questions. All right. I will share with you these right here. Are you going to study tonight? When will this class be finished? All right, I'm gonna give you a couple more. Did you get those? Yes. Okay. All right, so everybody has the questions in the WhatsApp. Eh, no las comparto en el grupo del meeting chat porque cuando los pongo a trabajar en parejas se desaparecen las preguntas. So everybody should have it in the uh, WhatsApp group. Eh, voy a activar para que un participante pueda compartir su pantalla. Los que están de oyente se pueden quedar en la sala principal y los demás pueden incorporarse para practicar. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what do you mean with what does the future hold? Uh, what does the future hold is like a very hypothetical question. Uh, when somebody asks you, hey, uh, Maria, what, what does the future hold in your life? Como que, ¿cómo te ves en el futuro? Uh, or what, what are your expectations? Bilingual, <laughs> new job, new car, new house. Okay, thank you. Yeah.
Ok, guys, eh, yo sé que no han terminado, tal vez no han ni empezado. Eh, that's ok. Voy a tomar asistencia y después voy a dejar que hagan sus conversaciones. Eh, si usted ve que su compañero escribe en el WhatsApp o que escribe en el chat, por favor me avisa. When I say your name, please say present. When I say your name, please say present. Adriana. Present. Good job. Adriana, ya veo que terminó casi todas las secciones. Excellent. Okay, this is... First. Present, thank you. Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia. Present teacher. Good job. Doribel. Doribel. Por ahí vi a Doribel. Eh, no sé si la han visto ustedes. Doribel, Doribel. Está en el chat, está en la clase, escribió en el WhatsApp. No, ya la había mandado a la sala porque a mí me tocó volver. Ah, ok, ok. Pero sí está presente. No, no sé. Ok. Sí, no, no la veo. Ok. Doribel absent. Ahí sí, ahí la ven, me viste. Porque yo creo que está entrando y saliendo por el Inter. Eh, vamos con Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Is absent. Ok. Herbert. Eh, ahí entró present. uno. Present. present. ¿Quién entró? Herbert present, good, good. ¿Quién yeah. entró? Doribel, ok. Doribel present, very good. Yo sabía que la había visto. Ok. Doribel sí, present. Me, me sacó del sistema. Me sacó del sistema. Doribel, ok. Sí, eh, yo sé que le está fallando el Inter. It's ok. Por eso estaba esperando que regresara. Eh, Esmeralda. Absent, ok. Eh, Irma. Irma. Absent. Ok. Isabo. En el chat, teacher. Ok. En el chat, thank you. Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Guevara. Absent, all right. Eh, Jacqueline Cermeo. Jacqueline Cermeo. Absent, okay. Juan Cubillas. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Maravilla. Present teacher. Good job. Carla. Present teacher. Excellent. Leana. Present teacher. Very good. Luis. Present. Awesome. Marco Quijano. Present. Excellent. Marco Ramirez. Present teacher. Very good. Maria. Mm, present teacher. Thank you. Marina. Marina. Is absent. 
Noemi. Present teacher. Good job. Raul. Present teacher. Excellent. Rene. I hear teacher. Awesome. Roberto. Roberto. Absent. Ruth. Here, teacher. Excellent. Saul. Present, teacher. Good job. Wendy. Present, teacher. Awesome. All right. So we have absent Roberto. Absent Marina. Absent Jacqueline Cermeño. Jacqueline Guevara. Irma Jacqueline. Esmeralda. Okay. Cinco personas absent. All right. Now we can practice. Uh, any questions? Any questions? Preguntas sobre las preguntas? Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah, Saul. I, I don't know what, what it what it means in, in the in the first first question. What is uh what is AI? Something like oh, that. Oh AI is artificial intelligence, inteligencia artificial. Okay. Good. All right, let's practice. Let's practice. Ready? Let's go. Si ve que está en un grupo que no está participando, me avisa para ir a supervisar. Uno puede compartir la pantalla. Okay. ¿Quién le gustaría preguntar? I will ask you. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, let me see. The first question that teacher sent or the second? Uh, the first, the first question. Okay. What does the future hold? Or a bit will hold good things, bad things. I don't know, to be honest. Okay, the second. What will the future be like? Probably the future will be with artificial, with artificial intelligence or AIs, probably with that, I don't know. Uh, you okay. got a question? What will the future be like? Okay, invent, invent. Okay. Okay, invent, okay. Probably, well, I think the future will be with AS or IS, I don't, I don't know, AS. We will have robots that do house chores and things like that. Okay. Who invents the very first computer? I think it was an American. I think I'm not sure, but I think it was an American. <laughs> And um, what is AI? 
You see, AI. AI, I think, AI. is artificial intelligence. It's like a uh, software with software with uh, with intelligence or that is alive, something like that. Okay. Um, okay. What is the definition of a robot? A robot is like, well, see. Okay. A robot is made of other materials different, totally different to the humans with a specific a specific task that they have to do. That is a robot. Okay. If you want, I will going to ask, I'm going to ask, to ask the second question. Okay. Are you going to study tonight? Uh, let me see. Yes. Yes. Will you have fun this Friday night? I don't know, but I think yes. I will have fun with my friends. Okay. Are you going to meet friends today? No. Sadly, no. Well, will you talk to your friends soon? Yes, I will tell. I might talk with them later. Will it rain today? I think yes, it will rain. It is going to be sunny tomorrow. Yes, in the afternoon. Will this year be a good year? Well, it depends on the people and their actions. Okay, will you wear the same clothes tomorrow? No, I will change it. <laughs> Are humans going to live on Mars someday? Yes. I think yes, but much time later. Okay. Si we'll quiero, y cam... oh, okay. <laughs> si quiere, cambiamos. Okay. Okay, let me see. Um, will robots replace humans? That you want. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Will robots replace humans? Um, I think the robots will replace humans because in Japan or Korea, I don't know what country, uh, they made robots that they can do it the home term. I don't know what the word home term. Wow. And, uh, and another place, for example, restaurant have robots that that get you the the food. So I think that. Oh, interesting. Okay, let me see. Will robots take our jobs? Yeah, because I said I said the last question. Okay. Do you know Isaac Asimov? Isaac Asimov? No. I really no. Okay, let me see. Can you think of movies that have robots in them? Um, no. 
No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, this is question is a little large. Yeah. I feel like the Matrix has explored the idea that we might be living in a virtual reality. But what evidence is there for for or against this hypothesis? Well, really, I don't like that movie. I don't know why, but when I child, I watched the first movie, but I don't remember what is the, the action. Okay, the, basically the trauma is that we don't live in a real world. We live in like something like a virtual reality. Something yeah, like I that. know that. Okay. Okay. If you want ask you ask is uh Rene, pardon. Ah, uh, yes, no problem. Okay. Hi, Rene. Hi. Hi, okay. Let me see. Okay. When will this class be finished? Okay. Are humans going to live on Mars someday? Eh, creo que le está fallando el internet, por eso no responden. Okay. Eh, René se ve que quiere contestar, pero no se le escucha. Me imagino que es por el internet. Eh, practique con Naomi. Okay. Okay, we continue. I will ask you. Okay, go ahead. Well, no silence. Oi. I don't know what is the road come from. Uh, can robots tie shoes? No, they they can't tie they can't tie the the shoes. They can't. Will robots replace humans? Um, yes, I they could. Probably, 
probably in it. Yeah. Yeah, probably yes. Uh, will robot take our jobs? Yes, I think. I think so. How will the development of robots that thing change your future? Um, I think the robot makes less work for us. Mm -hmm. That's a, a good, I, I can think about them. They can help us to develop the uh, yeah something that we what we that we got to do or something like that. Mm -hmm. Imagine the job you wish to hold when you get older. Could a robot be programmed to do that job as well as you? You jump. As well as... You you jump one. You jump mm -hmm. that thing. That that thing change your future. Oh, ya me la hiciste. Ya me hiciste mm -hmm. esta pregunta. Well. That thing change your future. That thing changed your future. Ah, okay, sir. That thing, that thing changed your future. Imagine the job you wish to hold when you get older. Could a robot be programmed to do that job as well as you? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is a very a very big change for for my future, I think, and for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What okay. do you think? <laughs> yes, the the robot could program to do our job because we we couldn't do do the job, but they could um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no sé mucho de ese tema, por eso no, no tengo vocabulario para hablar mucho en inglés. <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch the, the, the Transformers for this. <laughs> okay, a film like The Matrix has explored the idea that we might be living in virtual reality. But what evidence is there for or against this hypothesis? For the... I, I you jump again. Like... Imagine, imagine the job you wish to hold. That is, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is correct or with another, another. The question is, but what evidence is there for or against this hypothesis? It's about the, I feel like the matrix has explored the idea that we might be living in virtual reality. Do you understand? Okay, you say a film. We we might be living in virtual reality. Is the point? So the question is: A film like the Matrix has a explored the idea that we might be living in a virtual reality. Mm -hmm. It's a big question. We oh go. yeah, I like that question. <laughs> <laughs> so,
All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How you doing? How you been? Let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers, please. One, ask the question. All right, Maria, ask the question. Quien quiere responder? Maria, volunteer, ask the question. Quien quiere responder? One volunteer. Yes. Okay, Noemi, very good, Noemi. Uh, Maria, ask the question. Noemi, respond to the question. Any question? Any question from the list? Are you going to study tonight? Yes, in this moment, this moment I'm studying. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, will you have fun this Friday night? No, I won't have fun this Friday night. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. That's sad. That is that's sad. sad. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah, because I have a girl. So I have to, to stay home. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you can have fun with her playing. Yeah, but on weekend with our family. That's right. That's right. Family time. Family time. Excellent. Uh, the Noemi, it is going to be sunny tomorrow. It is, or is it? Is it going uh, to be sunny tomorrow? Yes, it is going to be sunny all day. <laughs> How Excellent. do you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Noemi, uh, will this year be a good year? Maybe will be a good year. Um, how okay. does it depend? It depends. It depends on the people. That's right. That's right. Okay. Let's stop right here. Uh, I want to ask a question. Y la puede responder el que quiera opinar. Uh, the movie The Matrix. ¿Dónde está esa? ¿Dónde está esa? The movie The Matrix. Oh, okay, there I it feel is. Feel like the Matrix. A film like The Matrix has explored the idea that we might be living in a virtual reality. But what evidence is there for or against this hypothesis? And what are its implications? Who wants to opinionate? Don't be shy, don't be shy. What do you think? Do you think we are living in a virtual reality? The matrix? This is your avatar? What do you think? Marco, se ve que quiere opinar. Wendy también, los dos encendieron la cámara. ¿Quién quiere opinar? Don't be shy, don't be shy. Okay, Marco first, después Wendy, después Saul. Okay, well, that is a very complicated per question, but I think that we don't have evidence to deny that we are living in a virtual reality, but we don't have evidence that we are living, that we are not living in a virtual reality. So it's like we don't have evidence to us to accept or deny that statement or that statement. So okay. we don't know. Okay. okay. All right, Marco. Thank you, Wendy. What do you think? 
I think by, um, that um, the film uh, are surreal. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, uh, in the future, uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't like no one <laughs> movies. <teacher. laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Saul. I think um, here's, this is a film, The Matrix. I think we still don't have anything proved that, 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 we, that we can be living in the virtual reality, but mm -hmm. But it should be an evidence mm -hmm. that some day we we can advance and and probably get more um, <clears throat> implications about this. Okay. Okay. Could be. Could be. All right. Yeah. Good job, guys. All right, guys. Time is up. Time's up. It is time to go. I would like for everybody to please have a good night and enjoy the rain. Disfruten la lluvia. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Oh, my God. Que están quemando. Uy, no quemen. Es que va que es un edificio. Me voy oh, a quemar. Oh, my God. Man. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Thank you.